this would be a really bad dungeon master trap for D&D. The walls are crushing you. You have 10 seconds to survive. There's only one solution. To sacrifice two out of the party. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty brutal. Fey Wanderer Artificer? Maybe? I don't know... I don't know the uh, the new subclasses all that well from from Tasha's. They're pretty neat sounding. I just haven't read through them as much. Break the wall. Never mind. Break ourselves. That's fine. Instead of uh, instead of breaking the wall or the mechanism, we'll just turn ourselves to stone. Sure. They got a nice pose though. I like. I I think in the Super Nintendo they just like they didn't do the pose right. They just stood still. I think. I forget. It's been it's been so so long. Either way, that's a good pose. Don't worry about this. I know Asuna. This is the game where they use Cure and Asuna in cutscenes. It just never works. Maybe they should have showed it casting life when Anna died. Well, too bad. They wanted to die. If you want to die, I can't heal you. You gotta have a... And that, honestly, even in D&D, &D, the uh, Raise Dead spell or whatever only works if the soul is willing to come back to life. If the soul is not willing, you've wasted your slots. All your MP is gone. They wanted to get stoned. Yeah, I mean... Kids, they want to experiment. They didn't realize the, the lifelong consequences of their uh, choices to, uh, to do drugs. So, uh... This is a lesson for all you, uh... 1990s children um, careful what what you take you might you might lose your life I just wanted to get a little stoned see what happens see they were full of promise the best spellcasters in the game and now they're gone he defeated some guy I don't know who that was wasn't that the king wasn't he in charge no, I'm in charge now. Hmm, one more crystal. We do have the Rosa. Exchange her for a crystal. She's got to be worth at least one crystal. And I will destroy him anyway. Bah! Evil, 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 evil. Kane. Rosa, you'll see soon enough that I'm twice the man Cecil is. They're still having that uh, three-way romance battle. No, she loves me. They're just the two guys are fighting over the the, the player of Rosa so much that she's not even playing D and D anymore. She's, you know, on the couch watching a movie, and the DM's like, uh, okay, Rosa's been uh, kidnapped. Uh, uh, mm, <laughs> okay." Will you guys please stop fighting so sh so you can get your white mage back? <laughs> Meanwhile, Uncle Jeff is like, All right, Artificer, I built you an airship. Wait, aren't those super expensive? Yeah, whatever, I joined at level 20, so I have a lot of money. Bam, airship go. Well, that's very helpful, thank you. Welcome to the team. You're, you're on, you're in. <laughs> Nobody says you can't craft your own airship in Dungeons and Dragons. Battle stations. Battle stations. Alert. Fire. Cecil, you are the worst captain of the Red Wings. You've never fired a cannon a single time on an airship. Why? Just the the artificer the, the engineer understands enemy at 12 o'clock, shoot the cannons. White flag, I don't give a hoot. Blow them out of the sky. No, I'm a paladin now, guys. I'm a paladin. We can't we can't kill the surrendered. We have to let them we have to let them come on board as friends now. We have to talk it out. Time for some social roleplay. Brother. Brother. Haha! <laughs> Seems you're still alive, fool. Just kill him, guys. Look, I've got the cannons tracked him right now. Kill him. He, 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 he betrayed you. Is Rosa fine? 
Yeah, she's still on the couch, but maybe I'll bring her back into the game if you give me a pizza. What? You're not supposed to bribe the DM with pizza, you shameless dog. <laughs> we'll speak again once you bring me some pizza. And if the girl means anything, you'll bring me that pizza. Ooh, you dirty rat. Wake up, Kane. Pizzas won't win you the girl. I like my, uh... It's the blue edit. The blue Ankylo edit. It's getting better all the time. <laughs> oh, seriously, are you gonna buy this dude a pizza? He's such a jerk. What a scumbag. <laughs> Alright, set a course for the pizza place. Troy makes the best deep dish pizza. That'll work. <laughs> we get the sad music while we're flying. Awesome. Well, at least we can fly over mountains. Remember back when airships couldn't fly over mountains? Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Robert, every time. Yeah, you'd be the betrayer Kane in our party, 100%. So we can visit all kinds of towns now, so we will. Might as well. It's the town of Tiny. Don't step on me. Or don't don't tread on me, right? Nothing in that one? Okay. Gotta find all the grass items. Like a mithril staff. Boy, you must eat a lot of pizza to fill up a body like yours. Us frogs only eat a little bit of pizza. We only need one slice. Can't go right in here. I'm trying to go right, but apparently I can't. Myth... Excuse me, Mithril Mountain. With your long legs, it'll take you forever to get there. Or, not very long, actually. You know, there was a time when Mithril was special in, in uh, Final Fantasy. Nowadays, everyone's got Mithril. It's always, I have never betrayed my D&D &D party yet. Um, hey, look, uh, more consumable stuff that you might want, maybe. Oh, I'm doing it. Perfect. Sorry, OCDs. Any of you OCDers, I just, that's pretty mean. I, I get you. So mithril stuff is there's got to be a mithril sword in here somewhere, right? I don't have to. I don't have to buy that. There's got to be a free sword. Let me double check the uh, map list. No, that's everything. All right. Well. I guess if you want a Mithril Sword, you better buy it. Hmm. I wonder if it's even worth it for Cecil. Like, it's a lot of money. 13, 4, and 2. I just want to think about this for a second. It's two more defense, one more magic defense, one more magic evade, and you don't get any spirit. Uh, it might weigh a different amount even, I don't know. Not sure what resistant to undead means. It might be like you don't get drained or something by certain spells. So are you telling me that you'd be playing Edward in our game? The seduction bard? Proficient in giant booty? Having a beautiful daughter isn't easy. Uh, well, Sid needs some gear. Do we... I kind of feel like this is the point in the game where spending a ton of money on Sid and Cecil is not a great idea. Because... I'm trying to remember, but like... For one, the game hasn't been very difficult so far. And for two, this is kind of expensive... Uh, short-term game. Ah, but there's the music. Rock out. Let's go to the uh, weird island over here.
If we can kill some mad ogres, we could get some other good stuff. This well goes so deep, no one knows how far. We throw all our bodies down there. It's so deep, there's not even water in it. It's just bodies all the way down. Um... Boomerangs. Spears. No one knows how to use those. Spear. The easiest weapon to use in any kind of armed combat. Maybe the only thing easier than a spear would be like a staff. Or a club. And no one knows how to equip it. Iron. Eh, I feel like iron's not going to help us much. Just got a kind of feeling mithril and iron might not be the most useful. I don't remember where... <laughs> As old, old people. Want to hear a story? Oh, actually, I don't remember. And that was it. No more treasure. Out of here. Back to the drummerst. The intro. They got some really nice little, uh, little solo bits. They're short, but it's nice. So we could go in here. There's, like, a really good axe and, uh... We, we might be. We'll fight. We'll test it out. We're definitely going to save it, though. The death of many a party has been going to this castle at low levels. Eblan. You guys wanted a ninja. This is where you find ninjas. Oh, all the treasure's gone. Except for that treasure's not gone. Hmm. Ninjas. No one's here. Well, that's... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Did someone cast True Sight? How can you see the staircase? <laughs> just, we got see-through walls. See in it's not even see invisible. It's just... I'm shaking my head. Alright. Good. Good. Grand. The sad castle music is pretty nice, though. I do... Nice. It's, it's sad, but, you know, I enjoy it. Alright. That's it. Easy. No one's gonna die. Okay. Let's go, uh... Let's go to the west side before we go to the east side. So what was the trick? That one. It's a trap! This could be bad. The biggest problem is we don't have a mage. I think we need to equip the flame gloves. Well, I mean, I have a mage right here. I know, I know. <laughs> hmm. Maybe. This fight's not too bad, though, as long as we're quick. There's a different uh, one of these that's uh, much worse. Oh, the kick was a waste. That sucked. No high potions, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're getting there. I didn't really prepare at all. <laughs> My preparations was bad. But maybe we can kill this guy. Ah, oh, yeah, no problem. So far, so good. I kept... I was gonna try the uh, Ancient Sword, too. Less accuracy, but a lot more damage. We'll try. Let me uh, <coughs> take a little break and go to in. Does stop work? Oh, yeah, I never remember which enemies are susceptible to which uh, white magic spells. 
in theory, stop, slow, etc. are all really good against only specific enemies. But this game is kind of f famous for a lot of enemies are weak to us. One specific status element, and it works really well on them. But you kind of have to know. Uh, one thing we can, of course, do is... Um, once you've killed them a single time... This is just for interest sake. I want to have a look. We do have access to the bestiary. I wish it was in game. I wish you didn't have to like exit out. But uh... so, what would have been awesome is if you dropped like a giant's gloves. That would be the ultimate in luck is getting the giant glove. Uh, he's weak to ice. Ice is good. Uh, not gonna get hit by silence, darkness, poison, mini toad, or insta death. But that means not immune to slow or stop. So those should work. Whether it's susceptible or not, it doesn't say weak, so I don't know how that works, but uh, as long as he's not immune, you know, that's that's the main thing. But yeah, the hourglasses and stuff are, well, they're not cheating, but they definitely, um, they definitely make a lot of difficult fights trivial. <laughs> but this, you know, you don't have to go to Eblin right now. Coming back with a, a white mage and a black mage you know, makes a big difference. Which one is it? Nope. Maybe I have to go all the way around the right side all the way. I don't like... Okay, I don't think they did this before, but... When you enter the room, right? Does anyone remember on the SNES? When you enter, where does Cecil start? Does he start right there? Or does he start, like, here or something? Okay. Maybe it's down from above or something. So, you can't go left. Oh, secret staircase. Didn't show you that staircase. Mystery. Weird. Alright. Ooh, mute arrows are nice, right? Yeah, these guys do a lot of damage, and it's... See, this is right. In the original game, you get 10 of them for 10 shots, so you never use them. But with Infinity, that's actually a pretty powerful shot. Not that Sid is amazing with arrows, but uh, that'll do. Okay. Enjoying Eblen's trip so far. On to the danger zone, though. The highway is right here. So I think you have to fall down for this one, right? The one on the right is, like, falling. The one on the left is just around here. Curl Whiskers? I don't even know. Insta-death, hmm. I mean, chance to kill. <laughs> An emergency exit. You won't need to use that. Um, there we go. Da 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 da. Uh, okay. So. Oddly enough, right, Tella doesn't get the Quake spell. Which would be really ideal right now. I'm just thinking. I'm just racking my bang brain. Someone's gonna die. Okay, that's good. I'm so glad. I want to save those if I can.
So we don't have anything that cures confusion other than, like, uh, using that. I would only use that unless it's an emergency. Kill it. Come on, Cecil. I believe in you. Kill Lamia. Lamia. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Nobody nearly died. All right, we got a bloody lance. <sighs> okay, so far so good. We haven't died yet. It's we haven't had a game over yet. Adjustment there. I don't have any way to. <laughs> I don't have any way to cure silence. Uh, soon. At some level, Cecil will learn Asuna. <laughs> that sucks. No Echo Herbs. Uh, they, did they sell them in Mysidia or something? Okay, we'll be back. We're not done in here yet. We've got to fall down the pit of probable fun. But uh, we're going to want Tella to not be silenced. That was a good one. Silence actually... Uh, I'm really glad I equipped those mute arrows because... Uh, <laughs> boy, that made it more interesting. Back to the drum beat, though. Surely the town of Spellcasters has something like an echo herd. I just missed them. Classic... It's definitely nice to have a few of these for emergencies. And these are now becoming available. Alright, good. Okay, but now we gotta go back and fight the actual, uh... The actually difficult fight in there. The first two are tricky, but, uh... The one I saved for last is real fun. From... from Spain? From Spanish? I mean, I stream a fair amount. Uh, sometimes I go for a long break where life gets in the way and I get don't have time to stream. But I've been doing a lot of streaming the last couple of weeks. Pretty regular. We'll have to take some breaks eventually after consecutive streaming cycle. But uh, I'm having a good time with these remasters. Mostly the music. Whew. So nice. All right. Save a Rooney. All right, you gotta believe in uh, not getting killed by angry ogres. We might want to try to stop them, honestly, because it's gonna hurt. We might want to turn the battle speed down, honestly. Silver hourglass is nice. Okay, best for last. Let's do it. How much have I got? I've got the super hourglass. Normal hourglass silk. Yeah, we'll see. Three for three. I don't even know if you can slow them, but we'll test. One out of three is fine. Just kill the one in the front. We should be good. But these guys hit really hard. So, like, don't... Don't underestimate these guys. They will punch you dead real quick. But now they're stopped for a little while and then slowed. Apparently, bio doesn't work. Classic. A little bit overkill. This guy's probably nearly dead, but... Oh, wow. Magic is not, uh, not the answer. That one stop, though. Look at that. He's been just taken out of the fight. We could also haste and berserk our team, you know. 
That's probably the best use for Tella's MP. He doesn't have red eyes anymore, now he's got red body. The Mad Ogre didn't get a single action. Oh, you still get the drain effect? I mean, that's nice. So you could go AoE bio, but definitely better to stop them, slow them. Stop and slow, probably primarily, and then Berserk and Haste on your team for melee. Probably the quickest way. Anyway, no problem. One silver apple. Enjoy! It was more the accomplishment of killing them that was the reward. The fact that we were able to disable them and kill them. It's always nice to beat those ogres up. Yeah, no quake, sadly. Sadly. Okay, now the enemies around here are also kind of fun. Let's just do one or two battles. For funsies. Then we'll get back to the main story. Hmm, a bunch of birds. Okay, maybe they're not that bad. I thought they were more difficult, but... Still really good experience. I think they can turn... I'm sure they can turn you to stone. <laughs> the blood lance and then attacking them undead. Oh, no. What do these guys do? Oh, that. Nice. Mm. Okay, we killed one for the bestiary. That's all that counts. Just some trolls, really. Could probably put reflect on them or something. Ah, uh, we don't have reflect yet. One day. On the plus side, they seem to run out of, uh... They seem to run out of MP, because that's that Kiraja is very expensive. Yeah, the mustache is really nice on the sprite. I mentioned that uh, a while back. Thought it was a nice touch. Okay, hold on. Here's an idea. Everyone, oh come on! If everyone attacks at once, we could kill them. Anyway, one more fight. See if there's any other encounters that are interesting. Ah, oh, yeah, this is a good one. Don't die. Got the ice claw. Maybe fire undid the ice claw. Yay, Blizzaga doing something. So much experience. That's an underworld enemy group, in case you're wondering. Normally, you'd fight them down there, so... Ooh, baby! You thought that Mute Arrow was good. Well, this doesn't do much damage, but uh, I'll tell you a secret. I'll tell you a little secret about uh, getting that early. Let's see how this works. We need more attacks. More chances. That's some... Spice. Well, it'll kill something and then you'll feel good about it. Anyway, let's go. There's a really big tower here. Whew. So big. Uh, you know, we can fly over mountains, but we can't fly over towers. A little suspicious cave down there. Alright, so we're gonna go see some dancers in this little parking spot right here. It's the only town we didn't visit. It's the town of... town of mostly women. Okay, we got lots of feather caps. We actually probably want Gaia gear and some ruby rings. It's uh, fine. We got enough nonsense. Just don't sell it, basically. If you're playing along and you've never played it, don't sell your Gaia gear, wizard hat, ruby rings. Just keep it. The greatest of bows. Let's buy uh, two of those. So if I go Mute Arrow, that's a lot of damage. 
elementals are pretty good. Not bad, we got some nice... And because you can change them mid-battle, you got some nice v versatility with bows, you know? Bows aren't the best weapons, but uh, versatility is always appreciated. Did I check? Yeah, I got, I got everything. Alright, we're not missing anything for restoratives. To the bar! <laughs> well, that's uh, discounted. I'm pretty sure any bug is gone. Oh, is it? Maybe you have to pay every time. You better not steal that. Okay, that was uh, usually like a million gills, so that was cheap. <laughs> that was quite the deal. What did he say about faces? A smile on my face. Okay, I read that very differently in my head. Hope you carry a fat wallet. I got a fat something. How do you know? How do you know I don't belong here? I used to be a dark knight. This is exactly where I, I thrust my blade into the goblin. Yeah. Would you like to hear about my adventures? Uh, one time I killed a giant turtle, and I knocked a weird undead monster off a cliff. I got some cool new armor. It's pretty fun. Something about some cave. Go away. Can't you see I'm sunbathing? How rude. Interrupting the poor girl. And this perv. Shoo! I'm spying on the women in the water. Bathing. This, this town... Mm, I have some questions. The Black Chocobo Farm. Hmm. Black Black Market Chocobo. The new breed, Black Chocobo. I'll take one, I guess. Que que. Black Chocobos always remember the way home, and then ditch you once you get off of them. Don't know if there's anything in the pot, but we must find out. Garbage. Get out of here, black chocobo. At least they made this too wide. So if a chocobo gets up here, you're not stuck forever. So that's nice. So you got to see black market chocobos. Uh, how do we get to the top left section? Oh, just... I think there's a river, right? Yeah, there's always a river. So keep your eye open for secrets in the water. <laughs> secrets in the water. Oh yeah, swimming around your armor. That sounds like a bad idea. Sure, I'll take my armor off. <coughs> they, they, it was requested, guys. It's consensual. They wanted me to take my clothes off. All right, small child, what are you doing over here? Twin harp sounds really spoony. Okay, that's everything? Everything. Okay, we had a nice little swim. Got to talk to the girls. Saw some black chocobo. Take a rest. We're tired after all that swimming. Ah, the gambling ankylo is back to yellow ankylo. Good old, good old chatbots, keeping keeping people honest. And by honest, I mean. Terribly addicted to gambling. You want to know about the crystal? Now, there's something wrong about this castle. 
Something seems different. I don't know what it is. Yeah, Edward is uh, pretty spoony. This is not a very good, it's not a very secure treasure room, I gotta say. All you gotta do is step on one tile, and then all the doors open as you walk in to get the treasure. Not a single trap. The dungeon master is being really too easy on the party right now. Just having a bad day, you know? They forgot to install the traps. They probably had traps, they just forgot about them. So the party just walked through, grabbed all the treasure, and then, like, five days later the DM was like, Oh yeah! Wasn't there supposed to be a bunch of traps down there? Uh, oh well, I guess just keep your loot. This definitely feels more realistic. I made a note somewhere about a crushing wall trap, but... Eh. Uh, couldn't remember. Let's just pretend the bard died down there somewhere. Keep your voice down, there's a sick man. He's sick, they said. You can put your harp away, it's fine. Uh, she's too young, Dragon Eye. Oh, I'm such a burden. Please, I uh, give me your forgiveness. She died because of me. Uh, so spoony. Even Yang should be like, Get out of bed. Do some push-ups. Climb with me to the top of the mountain. What is this? Sleeping on the job. Oh, you survived. What about the young child? No, she's dead. She got eaten by a fish. Oh, so terrible. Oh, I always seem to find myself bedridden and useless. Maybe if you spent less time hiding and more time fighting, you'd be better at it. Yeah, why don't you come with us? We could go for a... F we could go... I'll show you the world from an airship. That sounds fun, right? Oh, well, Sid, that's pretty cool. You've got an airship? Wow. Why don't you have Rosa yet? He didn't even answer. We're like, hey, Edward, come with us on an airship. He's like, no, I think I'll stay in bed. Uh, the crystal is in the hands of a dark elf. Well, if only I could help you. It's... I feel like my music could stop the Dark Elf's powers, but I'm just really comfortable, actually. You can have a harp instead. Just take this. You know, at least for all, the way this next session goes, if he came with us and his ability <laughs> nullified the boss by his action and bravery to overcome his weakness, it would be so much better than how this plays out, right? Like. He could join the team, still be weak, in the back row, doing tiny damage. Heck, even give him a debuff, like a permanent penalty. You know, he's wounded, right? Half HP or something. And have him, like, actually there with us, disabling the boss. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, instead, he's quite frail and is just going to stay in bed rather than come with the cool kids. See you later. Bard. Yeah, wannabe Gordon doesn't even join us. He just stays in bed. Are you, are you kidding me, old lady? Alright. Time for ten sages. We don't know what to do! The Dark Elf has the crystal! Don't wear metal! Fight the Dark Elf! If we don't have the crystal, we'll die! He hates metal weapons! Get the crystal! Blah blah blah! There, I talked to them all real fast for you guys. There's no crystal here, though. Alright, good thing we talked to all those people. But, uh, they did give you a very important tip. Uh, metal don't work. So buying mithril gear, buying iron armor, 
Don't do it. Also, you need to, to get there. Just want to see how we do against these things. They have counterattacks. So they're kind of annoying, but... Maybe a kick? Kick to the head? I like how Yang talks to himself, hypes himself up before doing the kick that's really not very strong. Not really good. No, no level ups. Let him have his DBZ moment. Maybe. He's charging his jump. Yeah. Hmm. I mostly just wanted to fill up the VC area a little bit, but uh, kind of dying. You know what sucks? I don't think my Petrify... My Medusa arrow, I don't think it's killed anything. Unless I missed it. I don't think it's actually worked once. There, it worked once. I had to call it out, you know. Once you tell it, you know, you establish dominance by telling the arrow that you never work. You're a garbage arrow. No one likes you. And then... All of a sudden, out of the blue, it starts killing things, right? Yeah, it should look different. Final Fantasy III had them turn to stone, right? And that's the true Kate Sith, right there. Don't believe what Final Fantasy VII tells you. That is the real one. Maybe they're immune to stone or something. I... One of the versions, the Medusa arrow was really good because it hit everything. I'm pretty sure. I don't know which version, but one of them it seemed to... Like, remember the... The death sword that only seemed to kill enemies once in a while with the uh, instant death effect? I think... I really think they uh, decreased the value a lot on these. A lot of... A lot of... Item magic and weapon effects, I, I really think, got nerfed. That's... That might have been a Petrify. Magic, uh... <clears throat> We're gonna be doing a lot of Leviathaning and Bahamuting by the end of the game, I'm pretty sure. All right, anyway, that was enough fun. Thanks, White Chocobo. You're the best. Actually, White Chocobos really are amazing. Um, more games should have White Chocobos. Because maxing your MP out is pretty cool. Now, I can sort of understand why a bird cannot fly over an entire mountain range on its own. Flying over the ocean, pretty impressive. Is this a different version? Than the yellow theme? No after years, no. Maybe, maybe one day, but not right now. It might be the same. Can't even get through the little gap, stupid bird. All right, I don't know how we're ever gonna get off this island once we land. If the bird flies home, we're doomed. Nah, it waits for us. 